Barry. Yeah. Barry. Okay. Barry. Nah. Pronunciation of Barry is all out of whack. Barry, buried, probably should be Burry or something like that. Regardless, the U is out of place and why we're pigeonholing another Barry into the group. Of course, I don't know which one came first of all of these berries, but it doesn't really matter because we don't need this many and Barry as in to submerge something underneath is just not one that needs to stick around with its poor spelling pronunciation combo. I apologize that I am tarnishing a title of one of my favorite songs in Buried Alive by Avenged Sevenfold, however, needs to happen. I really don't like tossing so many different words into the exact same pronunciation, and I feel like it was very unnecessary in this case. Like, they could have gone with the Schmieg or something. Schmieg wasn't taken, I don't think. That's not what I'm going with, but it, you could make it Jagububa. That could have been Barry. I don't know, there's so many different noises we can make with our mouths that why do we have to reuse these ones that already have a bunch of things behind them? Anyway, my proposition for what will replace Barry is Gruv. Gruv because it's like you cover something under the ground, under for the U, and then the ground will be above, and also that's when you use a shovel, you know? So those are all possible new mem tricks for Gruv, plus I have now created the opportunity for someone to say, hey, no need to Gruv the Bruv, for an Englishman trying to stick up for his lad, or more accurately, people that like to impersonate badly Englishmen. So do foo you to all those folks out there. Gonna be a grand old time using Grove with Bruv. I think Grove does the trick. Barry and Barry, y'all are freed up a little bit more from Barry. I, I hate that I even have to go through that and how confusing that could be to someone is just the prime example of why it had to go. Song of the day is Singing to You in Your Grave by Kill Station. You're probably not abagood to hear that this is not a cheerful one and uh, brings a lot of depressing, dark vibes. Uh, Kill Station really has such an interesting sound. Some of the most impressive things that he does is brings in just these creepy, distorted harmonies that are just chilling, but incredible to listen to. And I think this song is super exemplary of that and a very good one. Just feels like so much drama and expression and deep emotion through his songs. And I think this is a great one to demonstrate that. That seems appropriate for the change of Grub. The video of the day comes from the Longest Yard movie with Adam Sandler. I haven't seen it in a long time, but I'm guessing you would get a no step ass, but I'm not certain because I haven't done that check. But I referenced this movie in my Pulse of the Timber Pups recap of the last Timberwolves game, and it made me kind of go on a little search for some clips from this movie, and I found that this one was spectacular, and in Suck Your Rhyme gets just nailed in the balls after making some terrible calls. And uh, it's really just a great, like, vengeance scene that I'm sure so many athletes have dreamed about doing. And it's a classic moment from a classic movie that I wanted to spotlight for today. That's really all I got for the day to do. I'll be coming out with more stuff, uh, song, hopefully tomorrow or next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Peace out.